A reading from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verses 1 through 6, 7 through 10, and 19 through 22. Although our iniquities testify against us, act, O Lord, for your name's sake. Our apostasies indeed are many, and we have sinned against you. O hope of Israel, its savior in time of trouble, why should you be like a stranger in the land, like a traveler turning aside for the night? Why should you be like someone confused, like a mighty warrior who cannot give help? Yet you, O oh Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us. Thus says the Lord concerning his people, truly they have loved to wonder. They have not restrained their feet. Therefore the Lord does not accept them, nor now he will remember their iniquity and punish their sins. Have you completely rejected Judah? Does your heart loathe Zion? Why have you struck us down so that there is no healing for us? We look for peace, but find no good. For a time of healing, but there is terror instead. We acknowledge your weakness O oh Lord, the iniquity of our ancestors, for we have sinned against you. Do not spawn on us for your name's sake. Do not dishonor your glorious throne. Remember and do not break your covenant with us. Can any idols of the nations bring rain? Or can the heavens give showers? Is it not you? O oh Lord, our God, we set our hope on you, for it is you who do all this. The word of the Lord. Psalm 84, verses 1 through 6, in your prayer book on page 707, or in your bulletin on page 4. I will read to the asterisk. How dear to me is your dwelling, O Lord of hosts. My soul has desired and longing for the voice of the Lord. My heart has been within me all the day long. The sparrow has found her a house, and the swallow a nest where she may lay her young. Happy are they who dwell in your house. Happy are the people whose strength is in you. Those who go through the desolate valley will find a place of springs. They will climb from height to height. The epistle is from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 6 through 8 and 16 through 18. I am already being poured out as a libation, and the time of my departure has come. I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, there is reserved for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. At my first defense, no one came to my support, but all deserted me. May it not be counted against them, but the Lord stood by me and gave me strength so that through me the message 
might be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear it. So I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and save me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The word of the Lord. 